Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday the 28th of July 2021 and we're publishing our regular morning update where we look at the news, headlines, economic reports and precious metal prices. Today we see that in the last 24 hours silver has dived below $25 and with rising Covid infections the future does not look bright. Unless, of course, the FOMC reporting today pulls something out of the bag. So let's take a look. Well, welcome. It's Wednesday, 28th of July, 2021, 9.55am GMT plus one. And where we are, it's pouring with rain. And it's not looking very warm or dry for Credit Suisse either. Credit Suisse probe finds severe due diligence failings in $5.5 billion Arcagos capital losses. And then we also have Credit Suisse hires Goldman partner for risk. After blow-ups, Credit Suisse rainmaker Exit sting in midst of record deal boom and Credit Suisse is losing or Suisse I should say Credit Suisse is losing Mideast staff over a toxic work culture. Now I have to admit when I was in Switzerland in Zurich some 10 years ago I had two bank accounts there. One was Credit Suisse and the other was UBS. And I will openly confess, I found Credit Suisse to be a most generous bank account because they issued a credit card immediately and one had a considerably higher limit on that card than any of the UK cards that we possessed. Maybe that's why they're in trouble. No, nothing to do with me. But it's interesting to see that. Barclays Bank gets boost from deal making. And what we will have seen is that most of the banks, although they may have lost money on the traditional banking services, they will have gained them on their investment management, investment advice and share dealing services. I won't go into that because there's more to cover. Looking at Reuters quickly. North South Korea in talks over summit reopening liaison office, which is obviously good for the world. US concern over China nukes build up after new silos report. Now, this is the part that we really must be worried about in terms of silver. Sydney adds four weeks to lockdown as Australia COVID-19 cases grow. And they're not the only one going through now potentially either moving into lockdown or bringing back certain restrictions. And this will not bode well for silver because silver's future really is at this moment more reliant now on industrial demand. And if that is cut off at the knees, then we can expect even lower prices and we'll see in a minute that it's not holding up well currently. Summer gasoline recovery could fizzle on rising infection rates. China state-owned daily urges calm after market rout, and we mentioned that yesterday. US Justice Department won't defend Republican lawmaker in capital riot lawsuit, and Canada border guards vote to strike days ahead of reopening to US tourists. So not terrifically good news there. Coming over to the BBC, we can see again quite a bit about Team GB in cycling time trial and Biles withdraws. We're talking essentially Olympics and so forth. Electric ch car charging prices must be fair. None of this is going to particularly affect what's going on. But what we can cover is the tech giants profit soar as pandemic boom continues. So tech giants have reported soaring profits as consumers upgraded their devices and sought cloud storage during lockdowns. Well, we shouldn't be surprised by that. 
Apple's profits nearly doubled to $21 billion in the three months to 30th of June as customers bought pricier 5G iPhones. This company can do no wrong. I remember the days when the battle really between Apple and Microsoft was at its peak and we all thought that Apple computers were going to totally disappear. They were just a fad for the designers and useless for everyone else. How times have changed. Microsoft saw a $16.5 billion profit at the same time, up 47% year on year due to demand for cloud services and games. So of course, we've all been home playing games and watching Illuminati Silver YouTube videos. Well, we wish. Okay. US. Yes, we had the committee talking about January the 6th yesterday. It was quite galling to watch these quite burly police officers break down in tears when giving their testimony. You can see it to what effect this insurrection, if that's the right term, or invasion of the capital has had on their lives. And it's very sad because no doubt these were quite burly, brusky sort of real men type men. And it is sad to see them break down and cry. To have Americans, and again, we mentioned about COVID-19 or the Delta variant, Americans in virus hotspots told to mask indoors. It's coming back. The restrictions come back in full force. Beware. What's happening financially? Let's have a look. Dollar up 0.14 at 92.57. So 92 and a half. We still think the dollar's going to remain above 92 for a while yet. Maybe still try and reach that 93, although that won't necessarily be good for the American economy. Energy, oil prices up a little, half, half a dollar. Equity markets, well, in America yesterday, broadly down, but between quarter and 1%. 1.21% in terms of Nasdaq but they've been hitting such highs the amount is tiny overnight the Asian markets down Hang Seng recovering a little after his previous significant fall and this morning and the time now is 10.03 uh, GMT plus one this morning we can see that European and UK stocks are up Euro index up 0.6 FTSE up point, basically 0.2, similar for the DAX and 0.6 for the CAC. Economic data today, the key thing for us to look at is the FOMC announcement on interest rates and Fed Chair Jerome Powell's press conference. That is crucial. We haven't got an update shown on Market Watch for what was reported yesterday, but we can say that the durable goods orders for June came in at 0.8%. Now, bearing in mind that expectations were to be equal or higher than the previous month, or at least 2% for the median expectation, that figure disappointed markets and affected, funnily enough, the silver price, or was part contributor to the effect of the silver price. Looking at gold over the last 24 hours, we can see that gold has hit the 1800 level, having fallen to as low as 1795. It's comfortable around this 1800 level. And bearing in mind, to be candid, that you've got the headwinds of a higher dollar and moderately high tenure yields pushing down on the price of precious metals. But then you've got U.S. spending and credit QE acting as tailwinds pushing it up. And it seems from now that the equilibrium price for gold is around this 1800 level. And frankly, we're quite happy with that. Because all it will do is to take for the market to turn and gold prices could quite seriously jump above 2000 again. Whether we'll see that in the next month or so, we doubt very much. But if it can continue to hold here, 
then that's really quite good moving forward. However, silver is taking a hammering. It's down 38 cents over the last 24 hours. It's currently 24.80. It's been as low as 24.51. Took a hit when the durable goods orders figures came out. Look at that. It's recovered somewhat. Silver's in a world of hurt currently. And we don't have great expectations for it, although there is a rumor that I think today it's supposed to have some form of major leap. We'll have a look at that. We're not sure what's, what's behind that, but we doubt that's going to happen. But it all depends on the Fed, as we say. Cryptocurrencies are a bit on a tear over the last 24 hours. Bitcoin is up 6%. And most of the other cryptos, with one or two exceptions, are up. The green shows the ones that are up, and it's the vast majority. And the crypto market has now moved from 1.3 trillion to 1.4 something yesterday, and now today it's 1.54 trillion. In terms of videos, yesterday we produced one behind closed doors entitled um, Issues and Subjects Bankers Discuss. Now, it's not directly related to silver, but we thought we would share that with you simply because it's an interesting insight into what bankers do actually internalize. And you'll be quite surprised to some degree, in our view, of how woke some of the subjects, woke is probably an unfair word, but how semi-left-wing these subjects that the bankers discuss truly are because we all get the vision that they're hard right capitalists well they're all moving towards environmental concerns green issues and green investments and we have to admit anyone considering any form of equity investment although this is not financial advice but if we were looking towards equities which we're not at the moment we think the market's too high we think it'll go higher but not significantly anyone looking at investments should be looking into these green energy projects because whether we like it or not agree with it or not that is the future that's it for now thank you so much for listening please give us a thumbs up subscribe press the bell sign until tomorrow and by the way don't forget to comment we do read them all Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.